good morning year three and welcome to our maths lesson on friday the 26th of february now i thought we'd try something different today for our warm-up and i've given you a beat the clock task for your time tables now let me just explain how you need to do this you might want to do it now or you can do it later on um, that's up to you but you need to have a look at the times table grid and fill it in going across. So for example, we've got to have one times two would be two. So we'd write two in that box. Two times two is four. Three times two is six. And then when you've completed and filled in all the boxes for the two times table, have a go at filling in the boxes for the five times table and then the ten times table and the three times table and the four times table see how many you can do in five minutes and we'll repeat it again next week see if you can get a bit further anyway if you pause the video while you do that and then you can come back and check the answers on the next slide if you decide to do it later on that's fine see with the answers Now, for the main part of our maths lesson today, we're going to be subtracting tens from a three-digit number with exchanging. We did adding tens yesterday with exchanging, and today we're going to be subtracting tens. So we need to be able to show our calculations in different ways, use our place value knowledge, and exchange 100 for 10 tens. We see this yesterday you were exchanging 10 tens into 100. Today we're exchanging 100 into 10 tens. Let's have a look at these subtraction words. Just like addition, there are lots of different words that mean to subtract. So subtract, that's the first word we've got there. Minus. If somebody says what is 10 minus 3 it's telling you that you need to take away you need to subtract what is 3 less than 10 we've got the word decrease the temperature decreases from 10 by 3 degrees so what does it become so there's a decrease take away you all know the, the term take away for subtraction Fewer. How many does that leave? We need to be having a look and seeing how many are left. And what is the difference? So the difference between 7 and 10, we would need to take those numbers away so we, to find the difference. So let's start off by watching a video that will explain all about exchanging. Hello. In this lesson, we will be subtracting tens from three digit numbers, crossing those hundred boundaries again. Have a go at this starter task to get you warmed up. How did you get on? Let's have a look together. Question one. 10 less than 100 is 90. Question 2. 12 subtract 4 is equal to 8. And 12 tens subtract 4 tens is equal to 8 tens, 2. Question 3. Continue the sequences. We're counting back in tens. 150, 140, 130, 120, 110, 100, 90, 80. In the next sequence, we're counting back in tens again, but this time starting at 154. So, 154, 144, 134, 124, 114, 104, 94, 84. Did you notice the links with the first sequence? Let's 
start the lesson by looking at this question. 326 subtract 10. Let's use the base 10. Here's our 300 and 20 and 6. We can subtract 10. Can you see what's left? We still have 300s. We have one 10 left and we still have 6 ones. Yes, it's 316. Did you spot that too? Now let's consider 326 subtract 20. Here's our 326 again. And this time we're subtracting 20. Let's do that now. Can you see what's left this time? Yes, it's 306. Let's look at one more together. Here's our 326 again. And this time we need to subtract 3 tens or 30. But we only have 2 tens here. Oh, hello Tiny. Have you come to help us? Yes, you're quite right, Tiny. We don't have enough tens here to subtract 30. So we need to exchange one of our hundreds for 10 tens. Let's do that now. Now we can subtract 3 tens. Can you see what's left? We have 2 hundreds, 9 tens and 6 ones. Yes. It's 296. Thanks for your help, Tiny. Now let's consider this question. 415 subtract 60. We'll use place value counters this time. Here's our 415. And we need to subtract 6 tens. You'll notice that we only have 1 ten here. So what should we do? That's right, we'll exchange a hundred for ten tens. Let's do that now. Now we can subtract six tens. Can you see what's left? We have three hundreds, five tens and five ones. So it's three hundred and fifty-five. Now here's one for you to try. Pause here and have a think. Remember you can build or draw base 10 or place value counters to help you. How did you get on? Here's our 325. We need to subtract 4 tens. We only have 2 here so we need to exchange one of our hundreds for 10 tens. Let's do that now. And now we can subtract our four tens. Can you see what's left? We have two hundreds, eight tens and five ones. So it's 285. Is that what you thought too? So let's have a run through of the tasks that you've got today. So the first task is asking you to tick the number sentences that will need an exchange for you to be able to calculate. Now, can you remember when we need to exchange when we're subtracting? Well, if we have a look at this first question here, we've got 348, so that's got four tens, and we need to take away 60, that's six tens. So we don't have enough tens in our number here to be able to take six away, so we will need to exchange in that question. Let's have a look at the second one. We've got 552 subtract 70. Well, I can see we've got five tens in 552, and we need to subtract seven tens. So, if we've only got five, we haven't got enough to take seven away, so we are going to need to do an exchange there as well. Let's have a look at the third example. 862 subtract 40. So we've got six tens there 
and we need to take away four tens. Well, do we need to exchange there? No, because we've got six to start with and we need to take four away from that. So we don't need to tick that statement. Task two is showing the calculations again in different ways. So writing the number sentence, drawing it using either base tens or place value counters. You can show it on a place value grid and explain it on a number line. And then your third task today is asking you to complete the missing digit. So I've got 400 and something seven subtract 50. And it's telling me that that equals 387. So I've built 387 here. And I need to know a number here that's going to be 50 more. So I've put my five tens there. And now we can see that I can draw a line around there and we've got a 100. So that's now giving me a total of one, two, one, two, three, four hundreds. And what have I got left here in my tens? Well, I've got three tens left and seven ones. So the ones digit hasn't changed. And then we've found the tens digit and the hundreds number here has changed as well. So have a go at those. If you finish all those really quickly, you can then move on to do some of the additional challenge work that we've got this week. Anyway, don't forget to send in your work and the next lesson for Monday will be available on Sunday evening at five o'clock. And I'm really looking forward to seeing you all again this weekend. Have a lovely weekend and see you next week. Bye.